Tonight is a special night. This is my 40 second YouTube video. In this occasion, I thought I would talk about the most intelligent animal on Earth. Lab mice! Well, maybe not in this universe. But there are a few things to be said about them. First, they're not all white. They're not even all the same species. There are many different strains of lab mice, but let's take a step back. For ages, humans have been fascinated by mice. In East Asia, for instance, albino mice were seen as divine messengers. It didn't take long for people to start raising them. We called those hobbyist mouse fanciers. To this day, we still call domesticated mus musculus the fancy mouse. In the late 1600s, scientists started using mice to study reproduction, blood circulation, and more. In the 1700s, there were studies with respiration. Then in the 1800s, the famous Gregor Mendel shortly studied them, looking at inherited traits. Unfortunately, he was made to stop fairly early. It's only in the early 1900s that he was vindicated. This also requires a bit of an explanation. A famous breeder, often called the Mouse Woman of Granby, noticed several mice with tumors. She sent them for study and it was found out that one mouse family had a high rate of cancer. This led credence to the idea that cancer could be genetic, but to have fewer variables in that regard so test results could be more conclusive, they started inbreeding mice quite a lot. Nowadays, a strain is made up of nearly identical mice, genetically speaking. So, why are land mice such a big deal? Well, first of all, they're easy to take care of. They are herbivores and they can have like 12 pups every month. They also start having babies before the age of 2 months. So they are easy to study but medical applications go further. Mice and humans have many similarities in their chromosomes and many of their genes are homologous. This is in part due to their relatively close relation. Both humans and mice are part of the Euarchontoglyri superfamily, which includes primates, rodents, lagomorphs, and a few more. Because of that, mice were actually the second mammal to have their genome sequenced right after humans. There are of course some limitations. Mice have a very different immune system, resisting different pathogens. They also tend to resist more toxins than humans. And the microbiomes of mice are less developed. Now, there is also the question of ethics. I'm not here to tell you whether it's acceptable to conduct all those experiments. But I think it is something to think about. I mean, science has advanced, but was it worth it? The discussion is open. Play nice and I'll see you later.